Let's walk through the Java 21 migration recipe. This recipe applies changes commonly needed when migrating to Java 21. It will also replace deprecated APIs with equivalents when there is a clear migration strategy. So what you're looking at here is a sample application which shows some of the features that we're able to migrate for you when you move from Java 17 to Java 21. What you can see here is that while none of these are actually warnings when you are still on Java 17, the moment that you move towards Java 21 is when your IDE will start to give you warnings about deprecated constructors and, and other kinds of hints of things that you might want to change when you um, migrate your project. But if we don't migrate by hand and we leave it up to a recipe to do, we will see that we can do all these replacements uh, uh, automatically. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this demo, where I run the upgrade to Java 21 recipe through the modern CLR which will quite quickly produce some changes for this project, which I will take you through. We've already made the changes, but we've not yet applied them. So I'm going to apply them to the project so that you can see the results for yourself. So first off, you'll see that we have updated the Java version number in your POM file. If there were any dependencies or plugins that would have required an upgrade, we would have done that still as well. But this is a first small step to get your project uh, working on Java 21. Then next up, we have some changes to the uh, demo application that I have. As you can see here, for instance, threat.stop has been phased out. What we've done is we've replaced it with the uh, actual implementation, which just throws in an unsupported operation exception. So the behavior of your application doesn't change on Java 21. But we did add this note to tell you exactly uh, what you might want to be doing instead, uh, such that when you find this in your code, uh, as a result of running the recipe, you'll know exactly what you might uh, want to look at uh, to complete your migration. You'll also notice that we've replaced the deprecated constructors with the uh, suggested replacements in the Java 21. So in this case, using URI.create for the single argument constructor, and using the more complete URI constructor with multiple arguments when there is more than uh, one argument. And on that call, we call to URL to get the uh, URL that you were using before. For locales, these changes are uh, similar, where we, instead of calling the constructor, we now call the static method to get a locale returned. And finally, in this example, you'll see that for the runtime uh, execution, we actually split the argument string into a, a string array, as is expected uh, to be used from 21 onwards. And these are small improvements that you no longer have to go through uh, by hand just by running this automated recipe. But it's a more visible and more commonly seen improvement if you look at the recipes for the um, sequenced collections. Uh, going through those changes, you'll see that there's some uh, new features that you can pick up now that we uh, finally have methods to get the first and last elements of our list easel in Java 21. So before you might have had a method where you call uh, get and then an index to get the first element of a list, but that has now been replaced with get first. If you wanted to get the last element of a list, you had to call list.get with an index made from the size of the list minus one to get the off by one uh, index of the last element. That can now be replaced by get last. And this applies to any collection that extends the sequenced collection interface, such that you could see this on a list, but also on a sorted set or a navigable set, or a number of other uh, implementations that you might come across. This also extends to adding elements to the start of a list, or removing elements uh, from the start or from the end of a list. 
Since we didn't have methods to get the first or last element of a list, folks have started to work around that for the past 25 years. One common pattern with that is to uh, call iterator.next to get the first element of a list. But this can now be simplified to just simply calling get first. We have a recipe that does the same for if you use a pattern to get the first element of a stream or else throw an exception. And that with the latest versions of the recipe can also be transformed into a get first method call. Before the sorted set interface already had methods to get the first and the last elements. But with the introduction of sequence collections interface, they now also have a method to get the first and last element. So what we do here is we migrate you to those new methods such that you get a consistent uh, use of those methods throughout your application. The same again for calling iterator.next and soon enough uh, the same as well for calling uh, getting the first on the stream. There's also a method that's been added to get the um, Abre first view on your collection. Uh, that was already in the navigable set, and then it was called the sending set. But that's now been pulled up to the sequence collections interface, where it's called reversed. So what we do now is we uh, rename that method invocation for you, again, for consistency throughout your code base. You'll also notice that we're only making this change when it is actually a sequence collection. If you have a plain collection, which does uh, not support the get first and get last uh, methods, then we make no changes at all to be sure that it is a safe transformation to run. To learn more, check out our documentation.